chasing, come chase with us. Come chase with us. Come chase with us. Look, now my vape, my vape, she a monster. Blowing more clouds out her mouth than a roster. Your vape, your vape, she's an imposter. Three days to kill Kevin Costner. Monsters, blowing circles of life. Kick back, watch the clouds take flight. When they rise, it's sort of like the sky falls. Shit's getting thick like Nicky. Hi guys, Polish Vape UK back again. Got my new black shirt on today. <coughs> uh, I'm going to do a little update. On the Kanga Jenny Tank Mega, really nice little, really nice little tank. I've been using it um, about a week. I had a couple of days when I had a really sore throat, so I didn't use it. Um, really, really nice tank. Flavors fine. The size I'm waiting to use. I've got the Jenny Tank Giant. I'm waiting because I've got a box mod to come come in. Obviously, it's the giant is 30 millimeters diameter, so it looks really silly on something like this. My Vamo V5, so I'm waiting. I will be doing a review on that when I've got something that I'm going to be using. It obviously, for a week, I don't want to put it on this, it's, it's too big and it looks a bit silly. So, I'm going to wait and I'm going to do that when I get my box. <coughs> um, tomorrow, hopefully, there will be a review on a copper plume veil um, and then Wednesday there will be a review on the copper Sir Lancelot so really looking forward to that obviously I had to get a RDA that would go on there because my tugboat clone for some reason wouldn't screw onto it so we'll be getting that so let's just go through so I'm running this at the moment on I've got the two air holes running on this at the moment I'm not sure if you can see them I'm running on two air holes which I've found between that and three is what I've jumped in between and that's pretty nice for me so <coughs> I've got our pineapple flavour in it at the moment let's just run through some uh, pros and cons. Um, pros: the size of the tanks, okay. Again, obviously depending on what you're using it for. If you're going on a long, long trip or whatever, and you're not going to have time to sit and refill it, maybe not. But <coughs> it is uh, 2.8. Yeah, I'm sure it's 2.8 mil, but it lasts me about a day, and then I can then I can refill it. Um, so that's not bad. So that's a good thing. Um, drip tip, really nice. I thought it wasn't going to be all that, obviously because it's quite a small little hole. Oh, that's really nice. Airflow. Is amazing especially I had the Kanga aero tank with their first airflow control system and I found that uh, pretty rubbish but the airflow control on this is brilliant it stays where you put it it's really easy to set and so that's another good thing um, it runs okay not had um, no burnt tastes or anything from it. The coils, off. the coil is still the same coil that I started with, and there's nothing wrong with that at the moment. Um, so that's good. It's lasted a week already. I think it would last at least another two weeks probably. Um, obviously, again, it depends on the user, what you're uh, vaping at, and everything like that. But <coughs> so that's good. Flavor. Um, one out of ten, probably say a seven for the flavour on this. Um, obviously, I've got the Nautilus, which I'd probably give that a nine on flavour. I'd say it's probably a seven, maybe a seven and a half out of ten for flavour. Really nice. I've had no problems with 
leaking or anything like that. Um, so it's very nice. Um, cons. There's only really one thing that comes to mind on this. Obviously, if you can see on that tank at the moment, the juice. If you look at it, you're like, oh, it's almost empty. I'd better, you know, fill it up soon. But then when you turn it upside down, that's really how much juice you've got left. So that, that, that can be quite annoying. Obviously, I've got used to it. Now I know that it's not empty, but obviously because of that deep well they've got in there where the coil is, all your juice soaks down into that compartment so you can't see what level your juice is at. And I don't like running it too low burning the coil out and it doesn't take much to burn these coils out on these so we don't want to be running that juice really really low and burning that coil out thinking you've still got more juice in there so every so often I have to keep lifting it up seeing how much I've got left and then carry on again so yeah really nice tank like I say, choose, uh, yeah, tomorrow should be doing the review on the Copper Plumeville. Um, and then Wednesday will be the Sir Lancelot clone uh, Copper as well. And then Thursday and Friday, I'm not really too sure yet. I haven't got that far yet, so I'm not sure what's going to be on them days yet. Um, just another... We, um, I think that's everything for that. Really nice tank. Um, I'd definitely say for an overall rating, definitely an 8 out of 10 for that. <coughs> definitely better than the aero tank <coughs> that I had. And this is um, my uh, old lady is going to start using this tank when she gets her eye stick. So really nice tank. She's going to start using that. And I'll go back to my Nautilus for a little while. Um, have a little quick chat. Did receive an email. Um, when was it? Um, on the 10th. From uh, Vape Jam UK. Um, what it says is. Uh, Dear attendees. We would like to announce the official timing vape jam uk uh, friday the 8th of may uh, 9 a.m till 12 p.m is only b to b only which i'm guessing that means businesses um <clears throat> so all for the vendors to get in there and do what they gotta do a chat with other vendors <coughs> um and then it'll be 12 p.m to 7 p.m open to all and then on the Saturday the 9th it will be 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. and that's everybody <coughs> so I'm probably going to get down go down for the uh, Saturday just because it's easier because I've got to get down there I don't want to be waiting around till 12 it'd be easier to go down in the morning on the Saturday and just go straight in and I've got a feeling it'd probably be a little bit busier on the Saturday as well there'll be more people around so unless I can't get down the Saturday and I have to go to Friday, but I'm, I'm aiming for the Saturday, I think <coughs> I'm going to go down and see what's going on down there. <coughs> so obviously really looking forward to that at the moment. Um, did say if anybody if anybody's got any questions um, about any of the reviews that I do. Please just comment. I do read all my comments. I do see them. If I get a chance, I will reply back as soon as I can. If you want to ask any questions about anything that I've used or reviewed, because everything is getting used every so often, <coughs> I can say now. Now this will be going to my uh, old lady. She'll be using it now for probably a very long time now. <coughs> this will be her first big tank. She's using one of the old EVOD style tanks at the moment on her Ego Twist. So she'll be going up to this on her eye stick 
for me, Leaf. <coughs> um, so other than that, obviously I, I do use everything I'm always swapping and changing. So if you have any queries, if I don't know myself, I will try and find the info for you. So please just ask. Um, I don't mind answering any questions. <coughs> um, obviously, uh, you can find me on Facebook. Um, been getting some good responses from people on there from my uh, videos. <coughs> like I say, I will be doing hopefully as long as my uh, copper plume bill turns out in the post tomorrow morning. I will be doing that and then I'll be able to do the review on the Sir Lancelot um, and I'm hoping by the end of this week hopefully I will have my uh, vapor box so I'll be doing my juice review maybe next week um, depending what else I've got up for review um, I am still thinking at the moment about um, the Aspire Atlantis and the Kanga sub tank because um, I've also just seen a video from uh, Twisted420 that he put up today on the Joytech Delta 2 which is the same as um, the Kanga sub tank pretty much looking at it the only main difference is the look of the tank the uh, sub tank looks a bit prettier but um, the Joytech Delta comes with your 0.5 ohm coil and it also comes with your uh, RBA coil so you can put rebuildables into it as well um, don't think it's out yet I did have a little look on the website I think it is just being made um, as far as what uh, Twisted said, <coughs> they'd been on about it before they were making it before the Atlantis and Subtech come out, but then obviously they came out, so they held back for a little while. But his opinion on it was that it um, kills the Atlantis and the Subtech. So looking forward to that. I'm, now I'm stuck. I'm like, mm, do I try and get out hold of all three so I can really see the difference between all three? or because at the moment I'm pushing towards the sub tank just because of that rebuildable if I can't afford to go and pick up some new coils I can just put the rebuildable coil in because I've got loads of wire for that and I can just build a coil and do that <coughs> um, so I'm going towards the sub tank at the moment so I may get that and then when the Delta actually comes out and you can start buying it from places over here I may then get my hands on that and see what the difference is. Um, I think I've covered everything really. Update on the Jenny Tank Mega. Um, I've talked, spoke about Ape Jam UK. So they've got their times now. Um, obviously, I've got my new shirt. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. Um, I've just got actually I'm on the vape book at the moment I've just got a comment um, hope you don't mind from uh, David Thomas <coughs> and he's just um, <coughs> what is the Jenny tank compatible with um, so obviously I'm not sure what he means by that so I will sit down in a sec um, David and I will um have a little chat with you um, obviously my opinion I don't use I don't use these um, clear miser tanks on mech mods if it's something like the um, Atlantis or the sub tank then yes but I won't because of the coils in them they can't take that much power going into them coils you will just end up burning the coils out so I will only use them on Obviously variable voltage and variable wattage mods, um, obviously reg regulated, not unregulated. Um, so I will sit down and I will get back to you in a minute, David. Um, 
and we'll have a little chat. <coughs> so I think other than that today, really, I think that'll put that there. We'll finish that. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, if it doesn't turn up in the post, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I really am waiting for that copper plume veal. Um, other than that, we'll have one more, two, and we're all done. Polyspex UK, out.